Okay, we got a Jubilee video it says uh, six black men versus one secret white guy. White guy, let's go. We brought. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. Really? I'm black. I'm, black. I'm white. What? No way. <laughs> I don't know, bro. This guy, it feels like he's gonna sell it. I can't really trust that guy. So, now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any other, like, Africans or anybody with, like, any, like, Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad yeah, but these Nigerian. guys sound uh, white, though. Do you know Just like, Actually, I don't, but my mom's Oscar. Not like hood. Jew, and then my dad's literally, like, a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to... He's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, and Rosebud is actually my street, my, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me. I was Fitzy. expecting like yeah, hood sometimes dudes. Sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes that, they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I too, I too, you can't you even see him, that. what you talking about, that, bro? That too. <laughs> I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You I wasn't even funny. funny. Can we all say what we're wearing and everything? I got a skeleton, all red, varsity jacket, cargo bro, pants you know on the side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, no, you crazy. You I wish East? I could dap you up right now. <laughs> I wish I could dap you up right now. But Wait, what type of forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You're right. Oh, I see where you're going with <laughs> you that. Said I did okay, that. Okay, okay, I kind of see. I kind of see that little brother connection. Why isn't the white dude talking? My whole life. My strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head? It stink, it stink real bad. What are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear? So you gotta stop, so you gotta start Bobby talking. Blue, Marvin C, Bobby Blue Glenn. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and... His vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black. You know, for a second. See, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's side, and then I grew up on Motown from my dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my Nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and Nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. I feel like that guy's gonna get out. He's just like, he's got it. He's got it, but he's like, I don't know. It just, just doesn't feel like, like how a black person should be. I don't really know how a black person should be either myself. I'm not, has I, one I'm African, bro. Of I'm not black. So we're not nowhere, African. basically. <laughs> Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Yeah, I guess okay. this is why I'm African. I don't know a single Me growing song up half right black, there. Half white, there's certain songs that they sing that I honestly don't really? know word by word what to, what to say. In the movie, I don't know, bro. Ill, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? What? What the hell? It's a fancy is, line, y'all. I got another. I ain't even gonna cover. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. Let's complete this song. This uh, guy moving like a uh, like a fruit cup right there. Trench He's pants. having all those signs. Trench pants. <laughs> what is that? I got one. I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook your room. Yeah. Me and your mama we, whipping it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. That food is okay. I was listening so intently on on voices because you ever been on the phone? With like telemarketer, you can tell us a black person on the other side. So you throw out. Man, the these guys aren't. I don't know what they're asking, bro. Um, I'm trying to catch that. Tell everybody. Ask them about their hair it? or something. Yes, he will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now all black people don't go to church now. But they notice. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. I mean purple. Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. That's low sus right there. You said great. Because where I'm from, bro. where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by we don't go by that. What yeah. you just Man, the hell I, I haven't even had Kool-Aid. It was water, bro, and Africa is water. So I definitely not passed the this test.
It was water, bro. We never had cool. I guess these are the black people raised in America. I'm the guy, the African yeah. guy. Wait, you know? wait, uh, hold up. But, Why is that it's crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. You're trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch. So that's of dumb. You see how you that feel that me? Like they should be something cool different. You pour the sugar to the ancestors. Say stop. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I can't relate to any of these black people in this video. In the summers, it was either if you outside <laughs> or inside, you had to pick, right? Like the summers, yeah, no bro. We had water, bro. Up and inside your house, you know. So y'all, y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let that get out. It's always out. summer in Africa, yeah. anyways. When I don't know. it comes know. to black women from the '90s, who do you think of off of it? Be along. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna say. Jeez, uh, I don't uh, know. I don't know a black person uh, from the '90s. Uh, she was a rapper. Oh, um, Martin Luther King. I know him for sure. Rap City. Jada Pinkett. Oh, we're talking about woman. Okay, take two, dog. Malcolm X's wife or something, dude. I don't know. Black Panther. Who is the queen? You feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but you got to know Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. There we go. There we go. I think a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. That's Michael Jackson. Growing up, watching my sisters, Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from that runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyrus from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, Shoot. Jeez, man, I, <laughs> there's a lot of black people history that's going on. I don't, I don't really know. But the white guy isn't even talking though, so like, the hell? No! <laughs> My homeboy I was matching with is gone now, bro. Like when it comes to the real white guy, he's not even talking. Like, I feel like he should have talked more, though. I feel like that would have been Micro better. Russians, let's talk about it. I got you right here. Micro what? PWI. Man, I be chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the, for the dang for the life. For, for the diversity, right? I'm like, they're only 5%. I got to give them credit, though, because, like, finding us is going to be a little bit tough, but, like, they, they found a way regardless. I ain't ever going to lie, Loke. I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't never get that far. Like, college or nothing like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Oh, he's cool. He's cool for that. Yeah. Like, not like, you're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a well, grown man. A black guy. Game. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game. You walk down the street, right? And a white folk see you. The first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, and nod their head down. Mm -hmm. Make that weird face. Or they face, give you, you know hella space on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch the purse. Micro aggression. Clutch the bag. Or take the next elevator. Yes, mm -hmm. all of that. All of that. Oh, this guy's good. He's got to be like a street, like a street white guy, though, for sure. What was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York, yeah, bro. Dude. So you already know. Like, I am my brother. This guy's good, though. He's pretty good. I, I was, I was about to be shaky, but he's good. Twice a day for like the first. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We never had TV Power back on, in yeah, Africa. <laughs> I can't. I can't say I watched Mighty anything. Morphin. I haven't really watched the movie. Hard is hard. It is. I watch. I watch anime too. Oh wait, oh, you yeah. watch anime? Oh, oh anime is lit. What you like? What you like? Dragon Ball Z for shows a gateway. Dragon Ball. I never even watched it. I think Naruto's the best. It's got to be the best anime out there. Oh no, no, that was good. Hey, let's watch a Disney boy. Y'all know about that Static Shock though. Come on. I was literally. Just That's about to say, you know what I'm saying? Superhero yeah. static shot. Woohoo! I met his voice actor, bro. Man. You did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black, every single black, everything. And Samurai Jack. He's man's black, got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's Jeez, got range. Dude. All right, I got a question because I, I don't like know if I should know this, but I don't. You're going to be vibing, man. Too much. Yeah, right? I this is like, where you get even from if being white, we raised in the village. Real. <laughs> hey, you have to. Yeah, nah. you be like. But, uh, okay, so hmm. why does that bother you? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being uh, a Russian girl. And my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey, man. You know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I knew like the his upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism and stuff. So he kind of had like the hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members like say, hey, like. I mean, my mother was from Shreveport. So, you know, she used to be on that. Uh, and she was older when she had me. She was already like in her late 50s. So okay. she wasn't playing with none of that really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love. But at the same time, I think there's always that underlying like, 
you know, we would love for it to be a black woman, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was actually the same for me. They never said, don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that. But I definitely know how it would make them feel if I was to bring home a sister, for sure. Like, uh, I don't know, you're, you're with somebody who understands I really you, don't know. Who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the day-to-day-to-day -to -day -to -day basis. You know, something I've, I've kind of grown to dislike is, like, sometimes I kind of wish, like, everybody was transparent. Because I kind of hate this, oh, black, white. I'm kind of, like, I've grown a little tired of that. You know, when I go to sleep, I can't see anything. Like, I'm just, it's like I, I'm unconscious. And I wake up, I'm like, okay, I'm alive. And I'm pretty sure that goes for everybody. The, you know, you don't know if you're white or black when you're sleeping, you're just chilling, you're just asleep. Yeah, but you can marry anyone you want. I hear if it ain't snowing, if it ain't snowing, I ain't going. Uh, if it ain't black, it ain't right. I don't know, bro. Some I've heard a lot of things, but go marry whoever you want, you feel me? In your face. My people were cool. As long as she's like, bad, I'm bro. Cool too, she's bro. not bad. I don't I know what you're talking sister. about. Like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain. Yeah, but so. the sisters for sure. I'll take one too. But she got to be bad. She can't just be a sister. Not be bad. What the hell are you talking about? Who's getting out? I feel like this, this guy on the side. Between Rob and Brevin. Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, like I said. Um, I didn't have a traditional like upbringing as far as like dating um, a lot of different people because I am a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had a, a Why does parents, he move uh, so like a little sister. so much um, when explaining? Close. Yeah. Um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, y'all, I'm black. <laughs> My name's Robert, I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters and two brothers. It's awesome. Been like in and out face. the trees, uh, not too much school. And that's pretty much it. Let's see. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged. And I relate more to struggle, hearing some of the things that he was saying. It kind of like made me think and like second guess. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Revin, you can't he's vote. <laughs> 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 this guy's like a fruit hey, cup, though. The I, way I, he's I like acting. To try, bro. <laughs> it looks like we are tied again. Wow, what? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I. I'm just gonna say that, like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that, like, you know, that's just. Geez, I'd be voted out first if that's like, it's, people's struggles. It's about environment. Uh, but grew up in a village, bro. Like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. But, but you're black, so, though. So, I'm gonna say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's a fact, Rob Black. You yeah. sound like people from around my way. So, he... Really? No offense to you, Brendan. But, but you gotta kick rocks. <laughs> I, I hear it in Brevin's voice, sure. too, though. Like, never that's the thing. I hear it in both. Yeah, but, I hear it, yeah. for sure. But, but Rob, so, you just like, can't have, like, a, like, a, like a Rob, good yeah, formal accent to be black. It's gotta be like, like, what's good, really gang? Or, what's good, gangster, yeah, bro? We we you know, throwing up I all these signs. Hit and lick. Gang, what's good? <laughs> what up? You can't be like, hey, how are you? Nah, if you say hi, how are you? You're out. That'd be like, yo, what's good, gang? Foes. Like, what the hell? I just, this the, this is pretty funny to me. Um, uh, but poor black dude. But I, but I told you that guy's a like fruke up though. The way he's moving, he's been sure like, he's been move, I feel moving, moving, some like felt that sexy, zesty, or whatever. Black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay. It's all good. I think the mole is still in the yeah. box, and you want to continue playing the game. Raise your hand. No, stop! What are you doing? 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 The white guy was gonna get eliminated. Um, Why is that? I don't know. I just came in like I was gonna win really hardy. Oh, he talks like that too. Anybody else got a question? Oh, yeah. 
All right, so let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black people in? Oh, it's the violence, bro. Like that. Since the, violence. the beginning of Stop the US, the violence. Um, with the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. And more so recently, the information has been normalized to be pushed out and this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information, with all that stuff, so we can no longer have those continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially evolve as a people. And I think that's dope. But I also think that- Just people need violence to first of all, bro. With that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the US, it never stays within the black community. The gang banger. Yeah, that got to You wonder why it doesn't stand well, it's just, the black It's no community. point in game banging no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you game banging, uh, and then it got so bad where you, you know everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, op side, or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I supposed to game bang shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I got to go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense, and there's no money involved. So it's just, it's no, just, just like, I don't know, the, the killing of the black people, though, is just... Because I see the stats, bro, those stats are high. I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Subi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, you know? Hell no, if it looks ugly, I'm not supporting a black business. The hell? You got me messed up. He's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against, like, the school or anything that people is around, but I feel like... The ideas and uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around from his uh, you know early childhood and whatnot. Oh, is, I'm uh, not even gonna lie. The HBCUs, those fully black colleges. Look, I was born in Africa, bro. African guy, village guy. No, no, nothing about like black unity. It's just like everybody, you know, you everybody's black. You grow up like that, and then like for these like HBCUs, though, it's like. It kind of like, because you never hear about an all white college, that'd be like, dude, that's pretty racist if you ask me. Like, I know some white people can go to these HBCUs, but honestly, I would not want to go to like a fully black college because, like, I just love diversity, bro. Like, who are you going to be hitting at? Like, you can't, like, all the shawty is going to be black. Like, I love black people. I love black girls. I love that. Brothers and sisters, for sure. But then, where are the Latinas, the Asians, the everybody, like, all that diversity? You know, that trend fell off where people had, oh, all white schools or all black schools. That trend's gone. You know, it's time for new things. And those HBCUs, I feel like, because uh, I've never, I haven't really heard, like, of a big one. So, you know, that really, that traditional university, that's good. I'm not not going out of my way to go there unless they give me like a full scholarship, all bread. That's the only reason I'd probably just go there. Like not open minded to new possibilities. Opportunities are out there. We just got you know open minded to it and try to figure out what works for us. You know, this might be on the fault of like the media, but I think sometimes we over sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something like there's just so much more to us than like you know the pain that we go through and i think that black community you know show more in like our movies our tv shows just like the way we talk about like the way we talk about things like oh, i really don't see a lot of black, black people in uh, movies though black people like these stuff on good big saved. marvel movies right. come on talk only about that uh criminals that or or yeah. Yeah. That even black yeah. no, that's not yeah. even like a thing for america but like you go to china you go to like some of these other places like that's all they yeah. see of us you feel yeah. me yeah. oh i'm not even gonna lie bro i feel like I don't know who did that, but whoever painted black people as violent and all that, it, this guys, they did it. They got me, bro, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a car and a black person is approaching me. You know, hell yeah, I'm about to book it. Because what the hell I know, it's just the way society's done it. You see a six foot one black dude sagging, he's got dreads, he's approaching you. I'm not even whitewashed, not even not even a single bit. I don't have that many white friends, but the hell I'm not, I'm not staying there. Cause you know, 
you know those guys they're like the gang bangers the hell and like it's sad because that's that's kind of how it is even like a like a like a guy who just looks like that you're gonna mistake him you're gonna stereotype him because that's how that's how it is that's how society did it oh it's so funny it's so funny because it's true i'm gonna be real i think we're all good bro Same. How the hell did they miss the white guy though? He's so good at this. I mean, he's probably like in the streets somehow. It's gotta be. What? Sorry, Gabriel. No, I'm saying it happens. Come on. If you think the mole is still in the box and you like to continue okay, the game, end this game. End this game. It's getting me pissed. All right. So that's unanimous. We're gonna end the game right then and there, okay? If the and lights the white turn guy green, wins. that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one? Three. Yeah, and he is. Two, one, it is red. That means the mole is still here. Sure. You guys <laughs> can lift <laughs> your blindfold and <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt, Matt, you had it, Matt. Two, oh. One. <laughs> what? This is hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Rob. That's Rob. No. That's Rob. That's Rob. Yeah. I'm Brevin. Brevin? Yo, what's up, Brevin? Yo. What's up, yo? What? Big up to you, yo. Big up to you. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob. Like, that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they call me Milk. I'm from South Central. Uh, I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like uh, out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her. Oh, he can definitely say the N word. That's crazy. <laughs> My whole family was black. I didn't even know the other. I never met the other oh, people until I was like that's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every birthday. But I never really, that never really like bothered me. I guess that's some that's yeah, some that's something to think about though, because there's like a oh, lot of black kids that are probably better. like white. Uh, uh, you you could ask like, that guy, he's, he's gonna, gonna tell you everything a white nah, person nah, nah. would. I mean, I saw all it's where you, my it's whole where you get raised, jail, honestly. County jail, juvenile oh, hall, every yeah. party, yeah. everything. And your whole family, like, they just all accept you, because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, they sat shibits for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And oh, like, Jewish is crazy, bro. Yeah, I know the like, Jewish community. Can't never seen a Jewish black guy. I was like guy. the baby, Loki, like the youngest one. Wow. He's got stacks, though. I wonder how much they be paying them. What is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy blacks saying there's a lot of uh, violence. Jeez, they got me fearing a six foot two black man approaching my car, get me scared. Like the hell, that's my kind. How am I scared? But yo, you guys know. Ah, well, um, yeah. Have a nice day.